If you want to record data in multiple worksheets, first of all, you need to create the worksheets. You can do this in various ways. However, creating multiple worksheets at once will save your time. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VBA tutorial helpline. This is Hathiul Basher and today I'll demonstrate how to create multiple sheets in Excel at once. For this video, I'll use Microsoft Excel 365. The easiest way to create multiple worksheets at once is using the New Sheet button. You will find the New Sheet button to the right side of the last worksheet. Click on this plus icon which is the New Sheet button multiple times to create multiple worksheets. For example, I am clicking on this New Sheet button for once and you can see that a sheet is created. Now click again on this New Sheet button to create another new sheet and you can see that multiple worksheets are created. In the second method, you can select multiple sheets by pressing the control key and selecting the sheets and finally you can copy them. For example, as sheet 4 is already selected, now press and hold the control key and select sheet 3 and the function sheet. Now right click on the worksheet. Here you will find different available options. Go to move or copy. This opens move or copy window. We will copy the selected sheets to the active workbook and before the function sheet. Now select the option create a copy and finally click on OK to create a copy. You can see that the selected worksheets are copied. You can apply a VVA macro to create multiple sheets from one sheet at once. To write the VVA macro, you need to first enable the developer tab. To do so, move to the tab ribbon and right click on any of the tab. Now go to customize the ribbon. This opens Excel options window. From the customize ribbon section, in the main tabs, check the developer option. Now click on OK and you will find the developer tab here. Now you need to open the code editor to write the code. You can do this in two ways. From the code section, go to Visual Basic. Alternatively, you can use the keyboard shortcut Alt plus F11 to open the code editor. This opens the Visual Basic window. To make the macro this workbook specific, I need to write the code in a module. This will allow the macro to run on all the worksheets of this current workbook. Go to the insert tab and choose module. This opens module 1. You can write the code here. Now let me write the macro sub type create multiple worksheet and press enter. You can see that int sub and parentheses are added to this macro automatically. Now, let me briefly state the idea behind our macro. This macro will take the name of the worksheet that it will copy as well as the number of copies it will create from the user by using two input boxes. And I need to declare two variables to store the name of the worksheet to be copied as well as the number of times it should be copied. After that, it will run a for loop to create the copy of the worksheet that the user has defined and it will create the copies the number of times user has defined. So let's begin our code by declaring the variables. Type the variable. It will store the number of times that the worksheet will be copied. So declare it as an integer type variable. Press tab to autocomplete integer. Next, declare the variable that will hold the name of the worksheet that will be copied. WS underscore name as as it will hold the name of the worksheet so the type will be string press tab to autocomplete string now move to the next line to resume the macro in case any error occurs type the command line on error resume next next let me store the title of the input boxes to a variable type title equal I will set the title as create multiple similar worksheet. I have declared all the variables. Next, I will use two input boxes to collect response from the user and store them in our predefined variables. So move to the next line, type the variable to store the worksheet name that is WS underscore name equal call the input box by typing application dot input box Press tab to autocomplete input box, open parenthesis as the prompt as a string argument, type name of worksheet to copy. 
place a comma, the title will be our predefined title. So type title, place a comma, I will leave the optional default left top help file and help context ID arguments blank. So give a space and type another comma. Finally, the type argument will be type 2. The type 2 indicates string. Now close the parenthesis and hit enter. Now call another input box that will collect the number of times the worksheet will be copied. Type the variable num equal application.input box. Open parenthesis. Set the title as number of copy. Again, set the title as title. Finally, set the type. This time, the variable will collect a number. So the type will be 1. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. Now we have defined all the variables and collected the inputs from the user. It's time to create a loop that will make the copy of worksheet the number of times defined by the user. To do so, I will use a for loop. So type for, the iteration will run from 1 to the number of times defined by the user. So type i is equals to 1, 2, the num variable that holds the number of times defined by the user. Finally, write code to copy the worksheet application.active workbook. As I need to copy sheets, so I need to insert sheet open parenthesis as the index argument of the sheets. Type the worksheet name ws underscore name. Close the parenthesis. Now to copy the worksheet, type dot copy. After that, type after. Type the command application.activeworkbook.sheets again and as the index argument, pass the worksheet name. This will select worksheet again. Now resize the code editor to get the full view of the code. To run the next iteration, type next. This completes our macro. Let me quickly explain our macro. Our macro name is create multiple worksheet and I have defined two variables num and ws underscore name to collect the name of the worksheet that will be copied and the number of times it will create a copy. After that I have stored the title of the input boxes to a variable. Next I have used two input boxes to collect the worksheet name and the number of times it will be copied. Finally I have applied a for loop to copy the worksheet defined by the users to a predefined number of times. Next, I need to save the macro. You can do this in two ways. You can click on the save icon. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl plus S to save the macro. After that, you can run the macro by clicking on this run sub or user from icon or pressing F5. Alternatively, you can run the macro from the workbook. In my case, I will run the macro from the workbook. So I am closing the code editor. Next, to run the macro in the developer tab from the code section, you can go to macros or press alt plus F8 to open the macros. This opens macro window and you can see the create multiple worksheet macro. Click on run to execute the macro. This opens create multiple similar worksheet input box. In the name of worksheet to copy field, as I will copy the function worksheet, so I am typing function. Click on OK. In the second input box, I will copy the worksheet two times, so I am typing 2. Finally, click on OK. And you can see that the function worksheet is copied two times, and you will find the copies to the right side of the main function worksheet. In this way, you can apply VVA code to create multiple worksheets easily. I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for creating multiple sheets in Excel at once. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions or feedback in the comment section below. To check out our Excel blogs, you can visit exceldemy.com. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.